Today's subject, infinite cooldowns. But so that's an exploit. Nope, it's called math, brother. We got some new items to give us even more skill cooldown reduction, which makes this possible. And now I will say, you can have a 100% cooldown reduction, but it might brick your abilities and put you into purgatory. So just saying there's some, there's some hiccups to happen. I do want to test out some of the stuff and see what's popping those. For the gear to make this work in the first place, you need to have... Legacy Protocol, the newest or one of the newest amulets out of the game that gives you 20% skill cooldown reduction. This is found in Narud, just a random item drop in a dungeon. Then we got Burden Stargazer for an extra 15% cooldown reduction, Burden of the Rebel for an extra 15% cooldown reduction, and Black Pawn Stamp. It does not stop there. We obviously have the Expertise trait that gives us up to 20% skill cooldown reduction. I go for 16% in conjunction with the final item, second final item which is going to be Xenoplasm for an extra 10% skill cooldown reduction in the form of a potion that you can make last 120 minutes. If you use Alchemist, then pop it and then swap to whatever you want to use. And finally, we have the Mythic Rune for skill cooldown reduction to the tune of 10%. Those are the items you need. Everything else is whatever you want. We're using a bunch of rings and amulets for skill cooldown reduction, so their damage will not be that insane for most things. It's still fun to spam though, and on Survivor, the easiest difficulty, it might be enjoyable. Go ahead and run through the abilities and see what they do just for funsies. If you're applying statuses, this could be these. 1238. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. That one actually seems pretty good. If you just apply the uh, negative effects, you can actually do this too. You can pop this, and then you swap to this. Okay, that's pretty decent. And then equip this ring, which I think a lot of folks won't have. But if you don't have this, just use whatever is a damaging ring. Wait, what's the damage on Challenger? Nothing to write home about. Activate the Miasma. Havoc form. Back out, back in. At least you'd have infinite Archon, technically. But uh, it's not... It's no, the damage is nothing right home about. Engineer could have infinite cooldown with your turret and holding it, but holding it wouldn't be that much damage, I don't think. Oh, it has to be your primary. I always forget that. And then... Trait right there. So what is the damage looking like? It's not the... This is so far the best. If you're letting weak spot hits. And we can also equip another ring to give us even more damage. That is not even good on Survivor, I don't think. Man, I really wish that the Gunstinger's Quick Draw was better. It'd be so funny to just do that a lot. But, you know, pain. Aquamus has an ability that is written a certain way that made me think it'd be really sick. It says, Living Will grants 5 health generation per second and protects against fatal damage. What it actually means is, if you die, which you can die in the mist, you'll get re revived. But the revive has a 180 second cooldown from, from happening again. But you can be a little buff bish and run like Alchemist with the Frenzy Dust and also Handler for the, the Dog Howl. Wait, hello? Just do this one. So this could be, this could be your life. This could be your life. Just buffing your homies. If you want to try and go for insane damage. If you're not the most confident in your own abilities, you could instead become the Mercy of Remnant 2. Healing Shield, that's nice. Gives a decent shield to your allies, and you could just spam that. But you could be swapping between your abilities as well. You could be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Revive the allies that are downed. Okay, now we're swapping back to Wellspring to give a little heal. I think when you swap off this, it goes away though. It stays. And then we're on... Oh, no, it goes away. And then we're on the shield again. That's the joys. You can swap between your skill cooldowns. This one is weird, and I would get sick using this over and over again. Like, I would probably get physically ill with the animation. Like, spamming that for traversal. It's fast. I think it's faster than, like, 
the speed builds for actual quote unquote speed running. The final example I can think of is also my favorite, which is using the Planeswalker Explorer speed buff in conjunction with the treasure chest ability. How that looks is as follows. Go ahead and pop the speed buff from Explorer, then swap the treasure chest, pop that once you can, and you now have the speed of Planeswalker in conjunction with the treasure finding abilities of the treasure hunter which is nice and you can also use the challenger buff so if you die while exploring you get revived and even equip black cat band or equip heart of the wolf for even more speed i don't know exactly how it works because it says hello hello it says i'm moving fast af boy 50 percent unequip that now i'm at 38 percent so I'm just going off the numbers right here and it says I'm moving faster. This is the best thing you can do with the skill cooldown reduction shenanigans, bar none. There's also a giant AoE. You can swap between the what is this, eruption and miasma. You just pop miasma and you swap back to eruption and then you just get to mowing. Breaking news, Remnant 2 Fun Police has struck again, killing fun in broad daylight. In this case, they put a 75% cap on skill cooldown reduction. I seen as such. Pause. What can I change here? Um, I'll go down here. So I'm equipping a 15% cooldown reduction ring. It's still at 75%. So that is the sad reality of the current situation. It was bound to happen at some point. I was just hoping they'd try and fix the stuff that doesn't work in the way it should and make it more fun before nerfing the other stuff that is fun, but maybe it doesn't work the way they want it to. Whatever, man. Anywho, there's a kind of workaround. It's not the same, obviously, but it's something to do if you're really bored. Where's, where's that ring at, bro? Found it. Nice. So in this case, we have Diverting Heart. Does not provide standard healing on use reduces skill cooldowns by 1 second per second. Last 15 seconds. Make it 30. With this, we can do something. We can try and grasp on to what was once kind of wacky and fun. In a game that just wants nothing to do with wacky and fun. They just hate it with all their heart. It's unfortunate. Go ahead and swap to that. Pop my diverting heart. I might swap to the other skill cooldown stuff because having to take 30 years is rough. Like him jumping right there. That's me. Ooh, 3,300. Man, it would have been such a banger if I could just use this a little bit before they nerfed it to the ground. I just didn't expect them to nerf it so fast. And they still have made it so Ritualist does more damage with her dots like she should, or like they should, Archetype should. They haven't fixed the guns from the new bosses that do zero damage. Anguish hits for nothing. The modifier is apparently broken. But don't worry, guys. We handled the skill cooldowns because it was not okay. The only damaging, the only like crazy damage you get with this, by the way, was this. Like this was the only damage. You apply Miasma and you spam Eruption with Engineer as your secondary trait and having the Ahane Crystal, which not many folks have, as far as I know. Because isn't that from, like, Hardcore Veteran? I don't know what it's from exactly. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.